Hi folks, Garlic here with the Living Medicine Project. It's been a little while since I made a video, uh, but I was spurred on today to make this video because yelling at my radio wasn't helping. Uh, basically, listen to a talk. I've been hearing a lot of these talks. A lot of uh, billionaires being interviewed, Bill Gates, uh, Elon Musk, and other people uh, being interviewed, um, talking about uh, their message seems to be technology is the, is the solution for the carbon uh, problem that humanity is facing right now. And I want to say two things here. One, technology is not going to save us. Or if it is, it's the technology that, that the earth already created. You know, this interview that I heard today, the guy was uh, doing some, I think he called it a solar forest in Australia to use a bunch of solar panels. This is a solar forest, people. This is technology that is way more optimized than humans will ever be able to get to, or at least in hundreds of years, in terms of capturing the energy of the sun efficiently, distributing it to the whole web of life, creating food, shelter, soil, just everything in a way that solar panels are never gonna be able to do. They're never gonna do it. Richard Louv said, uh, he's the author of Last Child in the Woods, he said that the future belongs to the nature connected. And I gotta agree. I, and I believe that healing belongs to the nature connected. That it's by tapping ourselves into the living energy uh, of the earth, of the world around us, that we can sync ourselves with this force, uh, this inherent natural force uh, to heal us, you know, where we can be in sync and in right relationship with the livingness of the world, the livingness of the earth. And I think that this, and not technology, is going to be the, the thing that helps humanity most. And because, this is my second point here, is I believe that the carbon situation is only a symptom. And we see a lot of symptoms. It's a symptom of disconnection. Disconnection from nature, disconnection from our communities, disconnection from ourselves, disconnection from the meanings, like having a meaningful life. A lot of people, yeah, socially, societally, we have uh, a real lack of people feeling uh, meaning in their lives. A lot of people, a lot of us are doing work that we don't find valuable. It doesn't nourish us. It doesn't feed us. Ugh. However, when you spend time outside, when you spend time in green spaces, when you spend time in the woods, when you spend time at the beach, in these places that touch your spirit, they give us an aspect of meaning, don't they? Yeah. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, that's my two cents, my little rant. Technology is not going to solve the problem because the problem is actually disconnection. And so technology isn't going to solve that. Even though I'm using a phone, and even though you're watching this on a video, or this video on a phone or on a device, which is technological, there is some connection that can be found there, that is being found there. And it's not the long-term solution. You know, we need to be reconnected with each other, with our communities, with the land. Uh, and so it, maybe it's more accurate to say it's decolonization and not technology that is going to save humanity at this point. I don't know. I'd love to hear what you think. You think I'm full of poop? You have uh, some other tidbits to add? Uh, yeah, let me know. Comment below and, uh, and let's have some discussion about this. I'm interested to know how this lands for other people. Um, and if you're Elon Musk, I don't want to hear from you. There's enough people hearing from you. Um, you get way too much voice as it is. So anyway, I'm Garlic with the Living Medicine Project. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.